Hello, I am sitting here working on a client project and I just came across a record that I wanted to use as an example for other researchers. I am looking into Slovak immigrants in Chicago. Um, it's really fun for me anytime I have a Slavic language to work with because I have a Russian language degree that I don't get to use a ton. So um, these Slavic records are fun since the root of the words are the same as in Russian. It's just in Latin script, so it's easier to read. Anywho, um, this is a good time to show another example of why you need to always look at the original and never ever accept the transcription hints given by Ancestry. So if you look at the record above here, it is for, which one am I using? Um, her name is Emilia Yurcho, and it is her wedding record. And the person that transcribed it did not have any kind of uh, knowledge of how the Slavic records worked here, or Slovak rather, sorry. And they transcribed her last name as Podmajerski, which is actually just the uh, maiden name of the mother because these records are so great that they include that. So if you go into the original record and you have knowledge of how the naming conventions work and the Slovak language, you can see that she is the child of Jan Yurcho and Susanna, who was born, um, Rodilas R is probably similar to the Russian, the little R um, abbreviation there. And she was born as Podmajerski. So always go into the record, view the original, make sure it's transcribed correctly because otherwise it would foul up your tree if you just blindly accepted the Podmajerski hint then you would be looking for entirely wrong people for the next generation back. So pay careful attention as always. Thanks.